So, James and Beck, I'm going to show mm. you some images from Australian collections of real ghosts captured by spirit photographers. And um, the first one I have for you here is uh, a photograph taken by a photographer called Frederick Hudson. Would you, could you, could you describe James and Beck quite how convincing this image is? Which, Which one's, one's the, the ghost? ghost? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> The ghost is the one on the right. There is a very, it's a very flattering photograph of an old lady with, um, with a, a sort of Les Dawson-ish kind mm. of arms folded stance, looking mm. very it's unimpressed. Sort of a Whistler's mother meets Vi Queen Victoria look. Yes, it mm. is. It's ve that's a very good art history reference there. It does look a bit Whistler's mother's -y. and there is like the top half of a person. Yeah, but that looks that looks a bit like a doll made of there cake. They appear to be wearing some fur, and they've got yeah. very stylized hair that looks like mm -hmm. angels' wings almost. Whoa, James! You sound you sound like the contemporary guys describing it like, "Who the hell was like angels' wings?" <laughs> that yeah. makes it more realistic. And I don't know if it's just like if this is like some sort of raw shark test, but to me, it looks like she's got a small duck on her head. <laughs> <laughs> Now that you say it, that does look I a bit like a I can see that. Duck. Yeah, yep. I can see it now. It looks like someone tried to dress a doll up like a barrister. <laughs> <laughs> Order. Oh, no, uh, yeah, I mean, it, I mean, let's be honest. That's it, the little it, it uh, gavel on their head. It's, it does, it's either a duck or a gavel. Mm. Um, this is... Uh, oh, a, it's my oh. falafel. <laughs> <laughs> on his wedding day. <laughs> I think this is a, a really obvious case of cutting a face out of a photograph, I think. And, and, and attaching... trying to marry it. <laughs> it does. It's, it, is a, it is a man with People a beard, but with ghosts. a veil. You can, you can marry the face of a ghost. <laughs> so, I like the way they've included a pot plant, just to, so, yeah. to show that, how could there be a ghost there? That's a pot plant. Couldn't be What's a fake. Going... There's a pot plant there. It looks like a very uncomfortable... If that is a chair, that looks like a very uncomfortable chair. Yeah. yeah, it's such a weird chair. It's, it, it has like hooks that would go into your shoulders. Definitely yeah, it looks into like your a shoulders. James. Wheelbarrow. That's yes, that is exactly it. I get. We're not and here for some to criticise the, the chair. Plant has a kebab stick in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. So the main guy looks not as surprised as I think he should to be. I think to be next crucially, to a ghost. The, I think in real life, the people sitting could not see the ghosts, of course, and somehow the photographer has persuaded them to look in exactly, exactly almost the direction that the ghost is in, but just mm. not, qu not quite. He's looking at the ghost's moustache. He's yeah. thinking. Maybe that's what, maybe it's because since this person died, they grew a moustache and he's like, eh, <laughs> I don't like it, doesn't suit you. Yeah. So yeah. it's changed. Yeah. So it's changed apart from you being a, a ghost. This oh. is, uh, can I zoom in on this one? This is oh. Alfred Wallace and his mother, or, or Yoda, or depending Yoda. on yeah. how you... One thing about all these ghosts is that their heads are all smaller than Very the people. small, yep. Yeah, and you'd think uh, maybe if they were standing far away, but they're clearly meant to be sort of yep. either in eye line or in front of. Yeah. Nearer. Yeah. But maybe in the afterlife, people are smaller. Have you thought of that? That's oh, true. That's, you, that yeah, makes sense. Have you thought sense. of that before you just um, Well, there's more dead criticize? people than there are alive people, aren't there? So, so yeah, they need exactly. more space. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that is so logical that they would shrink them down for storage reasons. It's like a zip file. Yeah. They just yeah. compress you. But, I mean, what's going on? What's going on with the, the limbs there? I think I think we're looking at the top half of a person, but it looks to me like the whole body of a little old lady, Yoda mm. styly, sitting sort of cross legged. Yeah, on the guy's sort of, arms. On the guy's arms. Yeah. 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 Uh, we've got here Doctor oh. Richardson Hello. and his spirits and his sister. Hello. Let me make that clear. This ain't right. And I think so this is a, a, a woman who's sort of kneeling. Over, there's a man sitting in profile. Mm. And then a woman sort of at his feet, sort of leaning over his knees. Yeah. Looking his lower deeply legs... into his stomach. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, the um... eye lines are way off on this one, really. <laughs> I don't know what they were thinking. Is the lady were... the ghost in this one? Yeah, the lady's the ghost. Can you zoom in on this one a bit, Alistair? Uh, oh, oh, sorry. Oh, yes. Oh, oh. 
people were very impressed by the fact that you can see the chair through her head. Ah, but not his lower legs. But not his legs, no. Yeah. Because that's how double exposures work. Hmm. I find myself wondering, like, what were the... What I want to know is what they told the people that they were taking photos of for the, expo- the double expo- as in like the ghost people mm. like yeah. I'll be in this position because we're going to get the person to sit like this it's like we, we've all shot things where people are like no stand like that I, it feels weird but it's going to look good on camera and then when mm. you see it on camera you're like it looks weird on camera as well <laughs> yeah I was uncomfortable at the time and it's uncomfortable now <laughs> let me find the uh, the next one Oh, this is Guppy Williams. And I think the face on this one is the only scary ghost of the lot. Yeah, it looks like Thule. Yeah, it's really, it's like a monster. It's, it's alien. It's spooky. Whoa. Is that two ghosts? Or is, it, is the ghost the one, the, the veil thing? I think the ghost, I think there are two people and there is a, a veiled ghost emerging from betwixt, if I can say betwixt. The guy, the standing guy is quite scary for me. His face sort of merged into the... Ghostness yeah. and his. It doesn't look looks. as well planned as some of them in terms of where the ghost is going to appear. And then is that is Where's, that a little this? Peter, on the right? Yes. The, that, yeah, I think that's just a Victorian man, James. He's not a too many hands. Peter. It seems to be There's too a many lot hands. Of, it's got a, yeah. It's Lots a little bit here. proto AI. The, mm. That is it, what's the ghost. This, yeah. What's hands. this hand? We'll zoom in on that. I think it. I mean, you, a hearts. cynic might say it looks like a bunched up bit of fabric, but mm. um, it is, isn't it? I think it's more of a clenched fist. Ooh, that's what's great about this. You can see whatever you want. Mm. But it's, yeah. no, it's not a tiny skull, is it? It's fabric. It's cheesecloth. You can see whatever you want as long as it's uncomfortable Victorians. Yep. And, yeah. and, and finally, I have an image of Katie King. A, a spooky image of Katie King. Is she a ghost? Yes, she is a celebrity spirit. Oh. An incredibly famous spirit Ooh. in spiritualism. Katie is King this was. before or after she died? Uh, this is, I, I mean, yeah, okay. Can, this one is the only one that looks like a real person. This is her um, appearing uh, in spirit form. An image was captured of of Katie King. Um, but was and, she a uh, fav- a, was she famous when she was alive? She was supposedly the daughter of um, you know Captain Morgan from the Rum. Yes. Yeah. The famous pirate Captain Morgan. What? Really? Yeah, that's that's who she supposedly was, and uh, she she appeared in numerous séances. She was a she was an international sensation. And what the spiritualist was this connection magazine, to Australia? We're gonna we're gonna get to Australia. That this this is the thing. This is the story of how Katie King, celebrity ghost, deigned to visit Bendigo, Australia. The um, the spiritualist magazine. Um, reported on the appearance of Katie King and, and this image, and, and they were so impressed by her ethereal expression in the photograph, and they, they printed a reproduction, a woodcut reproduction, which was, uh, and I think I'm quoting directly, as faithful a copy as woodcutting can give, executed as nearly as possible with scientific accuracy by an artist of great professional skill. So that was a picture Whoa. of Katie King, and here comes the woodcut. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it looks like Chris Cantrell. <laughs> like, uh, this, it looks like a Cabbage Patch doll. <laughs> it's like yes. it's not a bad woodcut, but it doesn't look anything like the no. mysteriously uh, yeah. ethereal pirate princess. Yeah, like I King. want to laugh a lot because this looks nothing like the photo. But knowing that someone cut this out of wood, etched this it's out of wood, impre- so that yes. to create essentially a An stamp, expert. is very uh, is very impressive. I, I wouldn't be able to do that. No, However, you're such a yeah, nice yeah. person, Beck. You you won't make fun of a woodcut because you're like, it can't be easy to make woodcuts. So, I mean, as as someone who encourages children to try things in art, <laughs> arts and crafts, um, I don't I don't feel like I uh, can. Ma- it is funny though. It does. <laughs> it's, it's not. It's not as. It's not as extreme as the fixed Jesus face from that church that time. No, 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 oh no, it's not. But it's not it monkey. is. The thing is, it's not a bad. It's, a it's not a bad woodcut. It's just yeah. a different face. Yeah. It's not a mysterious ethereal it's a, face. It's a completely different person. It's, mm. it's a different person. That's the wrong Katie King. 